to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you're watching this presentation today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. That website is hangsters.com. It's where you're going to find all of our most current inventory. We have thousands of YouTube subscribers to our channel, so we leave our videos up at all times, whether they were shot two days ago or two years ago. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website and lets you know that particular unit is no longer available. Also, check out our Instagram. We're going to have vehicles such as this one right here that are going to be new arrivals to our showroom. They're going to be on Instagram prior to us doing these photo and video shoots. So if you're in the market for a specific year, make, and model, you might be able to get a jump on another prospective buyer. There's also a link there to our gift shop here in Daytona. You can find all kinds of cool uh, Hanksters t-shirts and hats. We also have banners and flags and garage signs and all kinds of cool uh, garage related material and items that we ship all over the United States. Awesome car to present to you today, 1987 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z28. It's going to be an all original car, uh, original 305 motor, uh, original transmission, power steering, power brakes, and you do, this is the AC compressor, so uh, there is AC in the car as well. Let's take a quick walk around the uh, car and show you why this car will most likely sell pretty quickly. Uh, it's mostly original, um, so, you know, original miles, original interior, motor, transmission, so there are some imperfections in the car, um, like the front nose piece, for example, does have slight fade to it. Um, it is plastic, and of course it is the original paint, so it does have slight fade there, so uh, take a look at that. Uh, there are a couple uh, chips out of the hood that have been brush touched. Right there, there, there. Okay. Uh, but overall, the car is in uh, pretty good condition. You do have, like, you know, where it's taken road debris, slight little chip there, little chip there. Um, Paint on the driver's side front fender is in pretty good condition. Again, you have slight chips. However, no blistering, fading, cracking, anything like that in the paint itself. Uh, BFG radial tires. The IROC uh, Z wheels are in pretty good condition. You'll be able to see those in the still photos as well. Um, I don't see any um, you know, rust on the wheels or any kind of um, oxidation on, on the wheels. Uh, driver's side wheel. We'll take a look at the other three here as we go through the video. Um, front windshield's in pretty good shape. Uh, it does have a small uh, chip there in the uh, driver's side down low. Uh, dual chrome or dual mirrors painted the same uh, color red as the vehicle. Z28 badging there on the lower rocker. The ground effects. IROC Z on the driver's door is in good condition. Window glass on the car all the way around um, is in pretty decent shape. Uh, driver's side, you can see there's no scratching in the, uh, in the window itself. The T-top's in good condition. Let's take a look inside the car where it has original interior. Uh, big doors on this Camaro. There is a, a split in the plastic up top here, right there. Um, the uh, material on the door panel itself is in pretty good shape. Same thing with the armrest and the carpeting down low. I'm going to pop this T-top out here and show you guys that the uh, gaskets you know, on the T-top are in good shape and the, uh, it's not, they're not leaking. Let's take a look at the uh, seats themselves. Um, the driver's side is in pretty good condition. There is a small tear right there in the center of the driver's side seat, uh, but no other tears in the uh, material. Back seats are in pretty good shape. You know, in the Camaros, nobody really ever sat in the back seat because there's, quite frankly, not a whole lot of room, but um, in pretty good condition. The carpeting underneath the floor mat's in good shape, both uh, in the rear and in the front. Again, you got to keep in mind that this car is, you know, this is a nice um, time capsule. It's unmolested. It's, it's original miles. It's original paint, original interior. Uh, so car has a, if you're looking for a nice unmolested 
uh, 87 Camaro. This is this is the one. Uh, dash is in pretty good shape up top there. Uh, those things being number one being black and number two being so large uh, and having so much exposure to uh, through the windshield uh, had a tendency to take a lot of heat and crack. This one's all in one piece. Center console's in good shape. Uh, your lid there for your uh, storage compartment. Um, all your plastic around your shifter is in good condition. Original steering wheel. We'll take a closer look at the interior of the car um, when we're on the test drive. Uh, door fitment uh, is real nice on the car to the rear quarter and to the front fender. All the body lines are really fantastic on the vehicle. Rear window defrost and uh, you can see through the uh, window glass there, we're going to pop the latch and we're going to show you here um, and what, what's back there. But uh, paint on the rear bumper is nice as well. Now, the, the rear bumper is the same as the uh, front bumper, okay? It's plastic, so um, those are where they have a tendency to want to, you know, flex and uh, the paint, you know, spider web and whatnot. The uh, rear bumper on this car is in pretty good condition. Uh, your deck lid shocks work. Uh, you know, being that they were such large uh, hatches on the uh, rear of these Camaros, those had a tendency to want to leak down. Uh, those were in good shape. The uh, gaskets here around the um, rear of the uh, hatch are in good condition. Uh, your T-top bags, so you can put your T-tops in there and you can hook the uh, T-top bag and pull it so that it's nice and tight. I used to have one of these cars, believe it or not, so... I did that uh, quite a bit. Um, original window sticker. Chris Chevrolet in Massachusetts, 24 grand. And then your uh, your options. We'll have uh, still photos of those. You'll get those with the car. We're, we don't keep those. You guys will have those. Uh, you do have this uh, rear storage compartment. Uh, hider if you want to you know carry something back there that you don't want somebody to see you do have that option uh, There is like a Camaro book here That will also come with the car looks like you know the original from 1987 what would have been on a dealership rack back in the day uh, Carpeting back here in the rear compartments all uh, really nice as well So this one is power see you latch it, you know, 20% of the way, and then the, uh, the power mechanism does the rest. So uh, it does function. Body lines on the passenger side are the same as the driver's side. Again, this car is all original sheet metal, so there's no body work. Uh, rear quarter's nice. Uh, drive, or passenger side door's real nice and straight. And then, of course, the front fender is nice and straight as well. Taking a look in the passenger side of the vehicle, uh, door panels in almost uh, perfect condition. Um, again, the, the plastic up here at the top is in pretty good shape. You got a little tiny crack right there. Um, not as bad as it is on the driver's side. Uh, armrest is in good condition. Uh, carpeting at the uh, bottom of the uh, door panel there is in good shape as well. Passenger side seat, uh, real good shape. Uh, no discoloration. No rips, no tears. Seat belts ratchet back both on the uh, passenger side and on the driver's side. Uh, the carpeting, again, original. Pretty good condition down low there. Uh, no rips, no tears. It is a pretty nice car for being, you know, 1987 and being uh, close to entirely original. Um, so the uh, ground effects, you know, down here, down low, it sits so low to the ground. Um, they have a tendency to want to take on, again, road debris and, and stuff like that. But uh, these, these are in pretty good condition. The uh, rear wheel there on the passenger side and the front wheel on the passenger side, again, they both look to be in pretty good condition. Uh, we do have still photos of the, all, all four wheels on the website, so you can take a nice close look at those. Uh, the overall paint condition on the front fender, on the passenger side, is in pretty good shape. I don't see any uh, blistering or cracking down low. Um, no paint bubbles. Uh, no uh, dirt in the paint. Uh, I don't know if every last inch of paint on this car is original, but um, it's pretty close to it. I don't know if you might, it, it might have been touched up somewhere at some point, but uh, 
From what I can see, it's mostly all original factory paint. We're going to take this car outside and we'll pull it around the building, see which one of our two racks back there is open. We'll throw it in the air and we'll take a look at the undercarriage. You'll love the undercarriage. It's all original. Uh, original pans, original, I mean, just fantastic condition. Uh, very well preserved car. We do these video presentations because the majority of the business we do is done sight unseen. Um, probably 90% of our buyers we never meet face to face. It's all done uh, over the phone, through email, through text message, through videos, photographs, so on and so forth. That's why we have such an in-depth in description of each car on our website. That's why we have so many photos and that's why we spend, um, you know, to, to, to watch this 20 minute video you're watching right now, it probably takes us uh, two and a half to three hours worth of work uh, between shooting them, rendering them, um, uploading them to YouTube, putting them on our website. So a lot of time and effort goes into it, and we do it for the reason that we were doing this online shopping thing. You know, all of us are accustomed now to shopping on Amazon, Walmart, um, eBay, all these delivery services. Uh, there's a lot of conveniences in shopping from home, and, and people really like doing it and buying stuff online. Well, we've been doing it with classic cars for over 20 years. That should tell you something about our business model. We've been very successful at it. We sell a lot of vehicles per month between our two showrooms, and we make a lot of people happy. However, we do encourage you guys to come in person. I walked around this 87 Camaro, and I show you some things that I thought you might need to see uh, before buying the car. However, if you come here, you might see more. Uh, we try to show you as much as we possibly can of each vehicle uh, during our you know, 15 to 25 minute video presentation. However, I am buy these cars day in, day out. I'm buying them, I'm selling them, I'm driving them, I'm underneath them. So I know what a, a 20, 30, 40, 50 year old car presents like, acts like, performs like, so on and so forth. But you may not be used to that, especially if this is your first classic car. So please, we uh, encourage you to come in person. We would love to show you our business operation here in Daytona. We'd love to show you this uh, 87 Camaro or any other vehicle that you might be interested in. With that being said, let's go around the building. Again, we'll see uh, which racks open back there. We'll put it in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then we'll do everybody's favorite part after that, which is driving. Underneath our 1987 Camaro IROC Z28, uh, you have disc brakes up front. Nothing leaking from the oil pan here. You can see the uh, blue gasket looks to be relatively new. Um, there's no indications of any oil leaks down the side of the block on the pan itself. Uh, the uh, passenger side is a little bit harder to see when you got the starter and stuff in the way. Um, tranny pan's nice and dry. You can see that. That's right in your face. Frame rails on the car are fantastic. Again, this is original miles. Original floor pans. Look at that. Look at those floor pans. We didn't do anything to the bottom of this car. This is exactly uh, how we got it. Um, so, you know, check out how nice those factory floor pans are. By the way, uh, nothing. Look at tail shaft seals completely dry. Speedo cables completely dry. Your catalytic converter here and all your exhaust system. There's no rust or rot in that. Uh, drum brakes on the rear, of course. Uh, muffler looks to be in good shape. Uh, GM muffler. So it's still the, uh, probably the original factory exhaust. The rear end appears to be dry. Uh, tires have good tread on them still. This is the, uh, probably where the spare is at, I believe. The spare Apartment. Again, this is all factory here. That's your uh, area I showed you in the showroom with where the T-tops go and the little grocery storage area, I suppose. Bottom of the uh, fascia, you can see that there's no uh, cracking in the paint or spider webbing of the paint there. We've done really well with these IROCs that are low miles, uh, mostly original. I mean, this is a uh, real time capsule here. This is a, a pretty nice car. Um, you know, un unmolested, uh, original paint, original interior, a lot of originality, original exhaust system, good stuff. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cash. If you are coming to Daytona to see us, you can certainly bring us uh, green. It still spends, believe it or not. 
Also, we accept certified bank check or bank wire transfer. If you are financing, we do have collector car lenders, three different ones that we work with that will offer a five to eight year term on this particular car. They're going to require you put 10% down. Then the remaining balance is going to be spread over that five to eight year period, whatever you are approved for. If you want to put more down, you certainly can, but they're going to require you put a minimum of 10%. No prepayment penalty. So let's say you get approved for five years for this 87 IROC and you want to pay it off in a year and a half. They aren't going to penalize you for doing so. You know what's awesome about driving this sports car? The sports car is appreciating. The depreciation on this car happened a long time ago. Um, and now it is holding steady or appreciating. So how awesome would it be to... Uh, buy a car and drive for three or four years and turn around and sell it for what you paid for it or maybe even in some cases a little more depending on how well you care for it. It would be pretty, uh, pretty awesome. We're going to set this 1987 IROC Z28 down on the ground. We're going to take it out in the Florida sunshine and show you guys how the car runs out. Inside our 87 Camaro, we have tilt wheel. We have a horn. 31,279 actual miles. Temp's not up yet, but it does work. We'll check that later on in the test drive. Fuel gauge is full. We did uh, put 20 bucks in it, and that did fill it up. Kicked it off. Um, battery voltage. Oil pressure. Tack. Door locks. Power. Wow, this thing's got power mirrors. Driver's side. That oh, works. Unbelievable. Let's check out the passenger side. Both mirrors work. Um, radio. Works. AC works. It is cold. We will not need it today. We're sitting at about 63 degrees. Um, let's see. Power windows. I'm not going to go all the way up and down, and they both work, though. How about turn signals? Drivers. Passenger. Those both work. This is the uh, power button to pop your hatch. It does function. I'm not going to show you, because then I'm going to have to get my ass out and shut it. <laughs> so, But it, it does work. Um, like I told you, the uh, head uh, uh, T-tops do not leak. Uh, they both are in great shape. You got your T-top bags in the rear. Um, the rear uh, mirror, rear view mirror is nice and crystal clear. Um, told you in the showroom dash is in good shape. No cracks in that. It's a nice car. Well preserved 1987 Chevrolet IROC Z28 Camaro. Let's drive it. Car runs extremely well. The speedometer is functioning and is right on the money. Temp gauge is coming up. You let go of the wheel, the car tracks nice and straight. The uh, steering is real tight, gearbox nice and tight. Uh, there's no tire hop, there's no tire vibration, there's no vibration in your steering wheel, no vibration in the seat or in the drivetrain of any kind. The car has decent pickup. brings back some memories for me. This was pretty much my first car. Mine was an 84, but it was the same. Mine had gray interior, red outside, gray interior, T-tops. I like these Camaros. I like the look of them. Car stops just like it should. There's no uh, brake pulsation or vibration at all. Here we are at a traffic light. Check our RPM. We're not idling down or wanting to die out or stall out or anything like that. Just going to run through the gears for you here real quick. Tranny shifts absolutely fantastic. Probably can't hear it in the video, but coming up on this truck, but here we are 
60 miles an hour. Let me get in the other lane here. 60 miles an hour, no hands on the wheel. Car's tracking perfectly straight. We're in a 45 mile per hour zone, so I'm catching up to traffic relatively quickly. Get over the other lane, switch lanes again. We've been fortunate here lately to get a bunch of cars uh, into our inventory that are unmolested. You know, people like to take like the Fox Body Mustangs and trick them all out for racing purposes. And, you know, take cars and switch motors and drive trains and paint colors and interiors and all kinds of stuff. And uh, this car is just like it would have came off the showroom floor in 1987. Uh, we have some documentation on it. Uh, we have uh, an original mile, 31,000 mile car. Uh, the original interior colors intact, the original paints intact, the original motor, the original transmission, original wheels. Uh, just a lot going for this car. Everything works. I showed you that. It's the right color. A lot of, uh, a lot of appeal for this uh, 87 RX G28. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. We've had a couple of these through our showroom, uh, low miles like this, and uh, they've gone very quick. Um, so if you are in the market for a mid-80s Camaro, uh, I suggest you make an inquiry on this one relatively quickly because I don't think it'll be around very long. At full retail price, this 87 Camaro is going to come with uh, free shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It's also going to have a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It is not a bumper to bumper warranty. Uh, so if you, know, you need a new battery or your starter fails or you know, you need new brakes, all that stuff's going to be on you. However, if you have any major mechanical breakdowns, the motor throws a rod, the transmission loses second gear, um, the rear end starts howling, you're going to be covered um, on a major mechanical breakdown of the drivetrain. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, your warranty comes off, the warranty's good at full retail price only. By the way, on the warranty, you don't have to bring it back to Florida, you don't have to bring it to Hangster's Hot Rods. You don't have to take it to a special muscle car dealership. It's good at any ASC certified facility in, in the United States, so you can probably take it to that same person that works on your daily driver. Also, at a negotiated price, the shipping comes off. We can put you in touch with a carrier uh, that you can make shipping arrangements with. You'll just pay the driver when they show up with the car and you'll take care of all the logistics of setting up the shipping and, and all that. At full price, it's kind of a turnkey deal. Like uh, We contact the shipping agent. We make arrangements for pickup. Uh, we track the car at, when it's on its way to you. We pay the driver. Uh, we give you that 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. Those are all luxuries of, of selling the car at full retail price. At a negotiated price, um, again, there's no warranty, and of course, you know, you're going to take care of the shipping. If you have a carrier, maybe you're a collector, you got a carrier you're comfortable using, you've used it in the past, that's no issue. Uh, we don't make any money off the shipping, we simply provide it as a convenience. Of course, if you're a collector and you have your own trailer, or uh, you're local to us here in uh, Central Florida, you can certainly pick up the car and drive it home, no problem. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Our website is hangsters.com. Again, check this car out. It will not be around very long. We're going to have probably close to 100 photos up on the website today, along with this video presentation. So check it out, hangsters.com.